हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट विद द स्टडिंग ऑफ प्रिंसिपल ऑफ कम्युनिकेशन विद मोर डिटेल टिल दिस पॉइंट आई हैव गिवन यू ओनली अ बिट्स एंड पार्ट्स डिटेल ऑफ व्हाट कम्युनिकेशन सिस्टम इज लेट्स स्टार्ट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल सी दिस ब्लॉक डायग्राम हेयर इज अ मैसेज सिग्नल व्हिच इज टू बी sent somewhere basically to receiver so what are the processes involved first of all there is a transmitter then the signal is sent through transmission channel and then it is sent or received by receiver right so this is what a communication system is communication system is basically a process of sending a message signal from a transmitter to a receiver the whole process inculcates various parts now a communication system consists of three main parts which are transmitter communication channel and receiver so what is a transmitter transmitter converts the message into a suitable signal for example right now whatever i am saying is being uh, received by this mic this mic is converting that audio signal to electrical signal now this mic is not attached with any wire through the main source so this again this electrical signal is being converted into electromagnetic waves which are sent to the receiver which is placed somewhere else in this room that receiver is taking the electromagnetic wave converting into electrical signals and then storing it in the form of bit digits like 1 and 0 these are digital formats so a lot of processes take place this is what we are going to study in this chapter which is communication system so a transmitter converts the message into suitable form and then it transmits it further delivers it to the communication channel now what is channel channel is the medium through which the system the signal is going to go across it can be wires it can be optical fibers it can be space nothing else just space because electromagnetic waves can be shooted down shooted into space and then it can be received by a receiver right so you don't particularly need a medium to transmit the signal but sometimes it is required so that contains communication channel or transmission channel it is the medium that carries the message in the form of suitable form one place to another it may be a pair of wire coaxial cable radio wave or a laser beam every channel involves loss of energy during transmission that is why signal power goes on decreasing with increasing distance this is a very crucial point that is obviously more the distance less will be the power because power will keep on diminishing so we'll have to reinforce that power to the signal so that the strength maintains it persistence right now last part would be receiver receiver converts whatever signal has been received into suitable form so that the actual receiver receives it in the audible form so we are not only talking about right now see for example if i am saying something right now and you are listening so the main point or the main data signal is our speech signal so this audio signals are transferred to you in the form of audio signals only but sometimes it could be a image which we use on whatsapp it could be an a video file it could be a song it could be a text it could be a data or anything right so this that is why the communication system these days right from the mobile in your hands to the pcs from where you mail stuff so everything is delivered in the form where the need and requirement is that fine so let's proceed transmitter has the following component first of all microphone i should not call it microphone actually i should call it transducer basically transducer is a device which converts one form of signal into another form so microphone does it in terms of from audio to electrical then modulator what exactly is modulator this is the main part of our today's lecture the modulation process and what exactly is modulator see a signal cannot be directly sent over long distances due to many flaws so it has to be superimposed onto something else and then it has to be sent away so that it can reach the receiver at least for example a person cannot walk from here to delhi right it's very long but if i make that person sit in a car or on a horse and make the car go or the horse go he will reach so this is something like that the audio signal or the message signal cannot be directly sent it can be sent while superimposing by superimposing it with another signal very strong signal which will transfer by long distance the modulator it superimposes the audio frequency signal into radio frequency waves power amplifier it gives the amplitude it gives energy so that the signals may may be transferred to long distances lastly antenna antenna is a device which radiates the or from which it is actually liberated okay 
Next, transmission channel as I've already discussed could be of types wires, optical fibers and simply space. That will cover in space wave propagation. Receiver have the same thing. First of all, antenna will receive whatever signal has been sent. Then tunable amplifier. Amplifier will increase its energy first of all because the signal has been traveling over a long distance and now it is very less in energy. So to understand what exactly is in the signal, it has to be first what given energy. Then after giving it energy, we need to separate it from carrier wave because initially the modulated wave, basically the message wave and the carrier wave were superimposed and it was sent. So we need to separate them. That's called demodulation. And then when you, we have actually got our audio signal or message signal, then we need to put some power into message signal, which is audio amplifier. And then the audio ampli after audio amplifier, the loudspeaker speaks it all. So this is how we are uh, discussing it in a more understandable way that how audio signals are transmitted. Though these are the block requirements of every communication system. Next, these are the block diagrams. See here, sound signal, the example is taken as sound signal. That is why the transducer uses microphone. So sound signal through microphone is converted into electrical signal. Modulator is superimposing this electrical signal with something else and then power amplifier is giving it more energy so that it can be transferred through transmitting antenna. Whereas while receiving end, the receiving antenna antennas uh, receives whatever signal has been given. Tunable amplifier gives it more energy. Then demodulator separates it from the carrier wave. Audio amplifier gives more energy to the actual signal and then it is taken out by loudspeaker. So the audio signal here, the sound signal is given out by audio loudspeaker. So this was a form of communication system. Now, now we need to know what are the basic terms which are required in communication system. First of all, transducer. It is a device which converts one form of signal into another form. Example, you have already taken as a microphone that is which converts what? Sound signal into electrical format. Then signal. Signal means the time varying electrical signal actually. It is the actual thing which is to be sent. It could be message, it could be anything. It contains information from the source and the different sources generate different type of signals, right? The signals are of two types. It could be analog signal and it could be digital signal. So what is the difference between analog and digital signal? The analog signal follows analog form, whereas the digital signal follows the digital waveform, which is zero and one, right? Range. Range is the largest distance up to which a signal can be transmitted. For example, if I shout in my loudest voice, hello, so maybe two blocks or three blocks away a person can listen to my voice. So that is my range. But with a loudspeaker, I can cover more, much larger area than what I can do without loudspeaker. So this is what range is. Attenuation. Whenever signal travels, they lose their strength, they lose their power, energy. So the loss in strength of the signal as it propagates through medium, any medium, it could be through the wire, it could be through the space. So whenever the signal propagates, it loses its strength, that is called attenuation. Noise, these are unwanted signals which gets mixed up. It could be due to the uh, malfunctioning of various small devices, small electronic parts which are used in the beforehand which I had stated, uh, transducer uh, components and uh, transmitter components, it could be added from anywhere. The malfunctioning of any small device can cause noise. So these are unwanted signals which mix, get mixed up into our actual, uh, actual signal, okay? Then we have amplification. Basically, I wanted to write here amplifier. Amplifier is, is a device which gives, which amplifies the signal. What is amplifier doing here? Suppose this was the original strength of the signal, but with time it is diminishing because it is losing its energy. The amplifier will do it, it will strengthen it again. So after some more distance, we can put another amplifier and this is how signal can proceed from more and more distance. Now, demodulation, okay, before, after amplification, we have modulation and demodulation have you heard of devices modem installed in your phone when you are using Wi-Fi devices? Modem is actually a word made up of modulator and demodulator. So it sends and receives both. Okay. So modulator, a low frequency signal cannot be sent by itself okay, to large distances as it lacks in energy. It is superimposed on a high frequency in such a manner that some characteristics of the carrier wave changes in accordance with the audio signal wave. 
the process of mixing up the signal is called modulation so demodulation is the process of separating the carrier wave from the modulating wave or the signal wave whatever the original signal is i should choose a word so from now on i'll be um, <coughs> uh, calling this main signal which i'm sending which is to be uh, received by the receiver so the term which we will be using should be audio signal no not audio signal will be the main message signal message signal will do message signal is something which we are sending and has to be received on the other end and all the carrier wave is the simple name lastly repeater suppose there is no communication system present around me and uh, i am far away from the cameraman like 10 kilometers away and i want to start my shoot at 6 pm so i will shout like my shoot is at 6 pm and the next person uh, like next building he'll listen and he'll say the same thing to next person he'll listen and he'll say, speak the same thing so this is how from one to another to another the signal will be transmitted to the to my cameraman like this is what has been doing a trans a repeater is something like a signal has been received it is given energy and then it is transferred to the next repeater it again amplifies the signal it send it to next repeater and this is what repeater does it receives amplifies and send the received signal that is repeat next see whenever you want to write what specifically i have written you can just pause the video and you can write the whole thing so because this is more type of uh, textual thing this is more theoretical chapter so you need to make your own notes okay then modes of communication there are two modes of communication which we'll be discussing one is point to point communication for example if i am saying and someone else is listening that is point to point one source one receiver but if it has to be broadcasted like i am saying and many people are listening that is broadcast like in television radio sets one with one channel like one transmission is there but many viewers are there so that is one to many that is broadcast then bandwidth of signal what do you mean by bandwidth first suppose i'll explain you in a very simpler way go to this line speech signal the frequency range is of 300 hertz to 3100 hertz this is the frequency range of speech speech signal so the bandwidth is you just subtract higher frequency and the lower frequency that is 3100 minus 300 comes out to be 2800 hertz so this is the bandwidth bandwidth is the range of the signal the frequency range of signal for music approximate bandwidth of 20 kilohertz is required because of the electronic instruments which produce various set of uh, sounds 